Hi, today I want to talk to you about one of the lures that we sell on firstcastfishinglures.com. It's our halo jig. I want to show you first of all that with every halo jig that you buy, uh, you get a set of instructions. This will show you that if you want to fish grass, you need to tie your line in front of the halo. And if you want to fish wood or rock, you tie it behind the halo. And I'll show you what I'm talking about whenever I, whenever I say the halo. This is a fairly unique jig. Um, as you can see, it has an actual halo above the head of the jig. I'm going to turn it around here so you can take a look at it. This jig flexes some, so if you happen to get it jammed a little bit in, in some rocks or uh, in, in some wood, you just pop your line and that, that will pop your head right out of there. So you actually end up saving a lot of lures this way. I also want to show you another added benefit to this halo jig. It's the uh, <clears throat> lure saver is what I call it. It's an actual hook. It's uh, it, That thing will hook onto your bait and you won't lose uh, nearly as many of your plastic baits as you would otherwise. You just cinch them all the way down there, set that hook in it, and uh, you'll be in fine shape. As I said, if, if you fish grass you need to tie on the front side of the halo and if you fish wood or rock you need to tie on the back side. In my area I fish a lot of wood and rock, so I always tie on the back side. So I'm going to go ahead and tie that for you. I usually use a palmyra knot. So what you have to do is you get started through the eye, create a loop, bring it back through. The secret to this is <clears throat> you never tie across the halo. So I need to get that loop back on the back side of the halo. So to do that I just kind of double it up and push it through. And now I'm ready to finish my knot. Everything that I have is behind the halo. Okay, You can see all that there and that, that's how you want it to end up. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this off. Turn it around. Get that all the way around it, cinch it back down, and now you cut your tag lines off, but you'd see that that would drag that bait through the wood, and if it started to get hung up, this would hit first and pop up over it. So that's the halo jig, that's the secret to tie on the halo jig. Hopefully you'll come on firstcastfishinglures.com and order them up. This is a pumpkin orange, very popular in the state of Missouri. Thank you.